morphing is really difficult. Uh, I have tried a lot of things, and uh, I, I, this will be maybe a couple of tutorials. Uh, I'm trying to get some kind of best practices for this, how to set it up in Sketch and what to think about and stuff like that. So just follow me. So how do we start? We start with finding inspiration. I googled morphing UI animations and I found a bunch of great stuff and this one was really good and inspiring. So this is material icons morphing. So I downloaded uh, material icons library sketch file uh, that I found online. Uh, and here you have trillions and trillions of material icons. So I just picked up a few of them that I could find uh, and just to make this simple, uh, we have three. So we go from here to here to here. And this uh, has same sh same size on the outlines and stuff like that. Um, and that I also, these were symbols. So I took away the symbol and to make this as good as possible for key shape. So we have the mask here and you have two paths here. So um, one of the key things to creating good morphing animations is to have the same amount of nodes on the paths. So the nodes are these ones. Uh, these are the nodes, one, two, three, etc, etc. Uh, what I have noticed though is that uh, if I count them here, uh, in key shape you have more nodes. So what you need to do is just try to like, find similar shapes, uh, export it as SVG. Have it here. I just, I always export the artboard uh, to have the same kind of uh, padding all around, uh, made it, make it exportable, and then just drag drop them into key shape. So let's check it out in key shape, shall we? So awesome stuff. So in key shape, uh, I opened up uh, the icons, the SVG ones, the, these ones, the exported ones, that one and that one and this one and uh, just drag drop them here um, and the thing is here let me just show you how it how it is before it's cleaned up uh, this is have a lot of stuff here uh, i don't know what this is i don't care let's just do this boom we can take away that uh, let's center this one. There. And the important thing when doing morphing animations is to make sure that you have the same amount of nodes in all shapes. Nodes are these ones. So we have 16 nodes here and in the other one, this is one, this is the already edited one. The original one is this one. We have to clean this up. Uh, we have 17 nodes. And in the final one, uh, the cloud, you have 21 nodes. So, uh, and ideally you would try to have the same amount of inner nodes as outer nodes but let's try this out so this one needs more nodes let's take the this pen tool here p and add so there 17 18 check this one out here uh, 19 20 21 so awesome and i did that for all of these and then we need to make sure 
So the anchor point is also in the same place. Just double click the thingy there, anchor thingy there, there after you have transformed to okay. Uh, same here. Let's make sure the anchor, I mean, it could be there, but let's just, or it could be down here. Let's just make sure, wait a minute, we could maybe put it there because maybe we want the transformations to animate from there. Screw that, just make it simple. Uh, we can change this afterwards, actually. So this one is up there, weird. So let's put it in center, cool stuff. So I copy paste all of these and I copy paste it just uh, copy. You know, here, copy, and paste into a new document. And this was uh, the end result of that. But you don't need to see the end result right now. You need to see how did I come to this point here. So let's take away this one. Uh, I also gave them different colors. So we know what we are doing here. Let's take the A1 again here. And this one has 21 nodes. That's great. Let's copy paste it into here. Let's change the color to something we can see. Beep, beep. So this doesn't matter because uh, the animation, you can change the color of the animation later on. So let's just begin with aligning these maybe they should mm, let's align them like this like that and like that maybe yeah or maybe we should align them like this maybe we should do something like that yeah this looks smarter okay so uh, let's do let's do like this. So let's start with the first shape. This is going to be the one that we are morphing into. So what we can call this morph stage. Uh, let's copy this shape. Go to the morph stage untick that one like that let's enable auto keyframing let's make sure we are there paste shape boom and yes that is really ugly horrendous animation so why is this happening yes it's happening because we have the start nodes on different locations here so here they are there and there and in the this one they are there and were there so let's try to put start node there and start node there and see if this was better let's think yes it's much better and I mean it's too slow so let's just take this one away copy the first keyframe and say that we want this to be still for like 0 0.7 seconds then the morphing will happen really quick and then let's copy the morphing the morph state and put it like one second and then let's do some easing here I always do this one. Uh, nice. So we could go from. Let's copy the first frame and see how it makes the transition back again. We have one, two, three. One, two, three. Like that. So now we could loop this. Repeat. Check it out. Boom. 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 Nice. This is nice. 
check out in the browser you have command enter it's there and this the cool thing about this is I mean this is uh, code so you can go here and just uh, put uh, say 100% width and 100% height and what happens there friends yes this happens it's freaking awesome uh, you could uh, go in here and just change the color also uh, so let's change it to green if this one wants to work bleep 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 there you are my friend let's change it to like that oi 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 this is why I love SVG and it's uh, animations my friend it's freaking awesome so 100% in the width and height makes this nicely responsive boom boom yeah so it's not maybe the most, most perfect animation but it's morphing so let's Take a break now, and then we can uh, try to put this one in. This, this is going to be interesting. Cheers, friends.